Hello everyone, my name is Helen and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making tags for all occasions. Now this is a very special video because it is my very first collaboration with a very special person I met here on YouTube and her name is Biddy Penny. I will leave her link down below. Check her out. She is an awesome card maker and if you like my content you will also I think I have a feeling you will also like hers so I will be using the wreath builder from Stampin Up and here are all the supplies that I'm using um, I will also have them all linked below and so we we decided we were gonna make four tags and um, the four tags I decided to make are Christmas a Christmas one an Easter one a I guess you can say it's a wedding one because it says best wishes and the other one is a valentine's so here's the first um card now the stamp set came with two um wreaths with two different designs of leaves now here's the first one now this um leaf here reminds me of a christmas wreath so that's what I, that's why i chose it and i die cut all the wreaths with um a Stampin' Up! color called Garden Green and I um, die cut the poinsettias with real red and then I um, die cut a yellow circle with I believe it's pineapple hmm, hold on <laughs> pineapple punch but you can use any red color you have. You can use any yellow cardstock you have. I'm just, you know, naming the color of what I'm using just in case you guys are um, wondering. And then I took some of my pretty pink, not pretty pink, some of my Pink Fresh Studio, um, what is it, um, jewels. And these are, I guess, they're iridescent. They're white, but like they're like iridescent. Um... And I'm just decorating the whole wreath with it. And that finishes up the first tag. Now we're going to move on to our second tag. Now this is a Valentine's Day tag. Now again, I chose the same wreath. But I did cut the wreaths um, two of each. So that way you can see the variations. And I stamped Happy Heart Day with my Real Red ink pad. And then... Um, I'm just going to um, decorate the wreaths with the hearts and I'm just placing it there just so I can eyeball it and I didn't really like the ribbon off off to the side so I decided to put it down at the bottom centered and then I'm just moving my hearts around and then we're going to pop this up with some of my mini Stampin' Up! dimensionals. Now I really love these dimensionals because they're just the perfect size for those little tiny die cuts you may have and this stamp set um i've had it since last no actually this year because it came out this year and um when biddy mentioned tags for all occasions i was looking at through my stamp set and the first thing i thought of was this one because i knew it would be a very versatile uh stamp set to use i'm sorry about my dog he is like coughing <laughs> I don't know if your dogs cough when they drink water, but my dog coughs when he drinks water. And like they've done that ever since we've gotten them. And I don't know why they do that. But yeah, so moving on. Now I'm going to go ahead and again decorate my wreath with some of my Pink Fresh Studio jewels. And I'm just, I'm picking like different um, sizes just so to give it like, uh, variation and I'm really I'm really having fun making these tags um, and oh I also forgot to mention that I did use the largest scallop die from the Stampin' Up! Layering Circles dies and okay so now we're on to the third tag now this one here is my spring best wishes tag and i guess you could use this like for a wedding um wedding gift tag and i want i knew i wanted to use the die cut flowers and so i'm scattering that around and i liked how the bow or the ribbon looks at the bottom right kind of angled and then again i'm putting some of the um stampin up dimensionals behind the flowers which is the perfect size and um the center of the 
um, flowers I will again use the pink fresh studio jewels but this time I'm going to use the pink ones and they're all going to be the same size and I love this tag you guys I'm so in love with this tag <laughs> maybe it's the flowers with the jewel on top but um this is perfect and I'm already thinking about ideas of like maybe making a matching card to go with this with the yellow flowers um you know just so you because like my um nephew is getting married this December so it would be like a cute little matchy matchy card and tag thing okay so now we're on tag four and this one's going to be an Easter card and so I'm stamping my sentiment in the center and then I stamped a, a whole bunch of eggs actually just five and um, I used Highland Heather, Balmy Blue, Seaside Spray, um, let's see here what else I got so saffron and I really really love how this card turned out it's like um who would have thought like these wreaths would become tags <laughs> and now I'm just going to um decorate it again with some of my pink fresh studio jewels and again I'm using different sizes and that will pretty much complete this tag and I adhered all of this with my Tombow glue, which is actually my go-to glue. And this tool here that you see me using to stick, um, to move around like the jewels and stuff, that's actually my favorite um, tool. Um, it doesn't stick to the tip so much. Like it's really very forgiving. Like I'm very heavy handed. So I highly recommend that tool if you're looking for a tool that, you know, for your embellishments. So here are all the four tags. Now you can leave this as is, but I am going to be putting some of the ribbons that I chose. And here is my, another tool I have from Stampin' Up, which I also love. And I'm just piercing a small little hole and I'm taking some of my ribbon. And these are, I believe, 1 8 inch. Let me check. Um, this is... Oh, I'm sorry you guys I'm just okay it is a 1 8 inch width ribbon which is you know really tiny like small and so that's why I had I chose my pick tool to poke that hole and not a hole puncher and I just tied a bow and that's the first one and I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and play a little bit of music and once I'm done tying the bow I'll be right back
hope you guys enjoyed this process video and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also let me know which tag was your favorite and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that anytime i post a new video you'll be notified don't forget to check out biggie penny again i will link her um, youtube channel below and i will see you on my next video have a wonderful day bye